Time to wake up, Savannah. Oh. My girl, oh, my, my girl, mommy. don't lie to me. Oh. Tell me how did you sleep last night? Oh, Were you scared? Were you scared of the monster in the chair? Stop it! Did you shiver? Walking through the Oculus building, which is incredible in design, both uh, from the outside, looking at it from the outside and from the inside. I actually like it better inside the building. Um, it's built to look like a dove to symbolise peace. Um, it's gorgeous. Let's turn around and have a look at it. Good morning from Freedom Tower, day two in New York. Thankfully the rain stopped this morning and the clouds lifted a little so that we could get some of these extraordinary views. We don't have the clearest of skies, but still it's incredible. This is the Freedom Tower, um, One World Observatory, otherwise known as. Um, get here early. So we get here for opening at nine o'clock. There's hardly anyone here. By the time we leave and go downstairs, it's going to start to be a huge line. So that's my number one tip. Second tip is to get the sightseeing pass, the New York sightseeing pass. We'll have the links in the description below. So worth it if you're exploring New York for a couple of days and getting in a couple of attractions. This is included on the sightseeing pass, otherwise it's $34. Um, and if you're going to do, as I said, a lot of those attractions, it will save you so much money. And you can get fast pass access for this one as well um, with that pass, but I do recommend that you get here at nine o'clock because you have these amazing views all to yourself. Let's check it out. So after the Freedom Tower, pop into the Oculus, have a look at that, grab a coffee or even do it beforehand and then come out to the 911 Memorial Garden. There is a 911 Museum here which I really recommend. We did it last time, we're not going to do it today but it is uh, quite a sad experience but worthwhile. But the Memorial Garden is great to come and just reflect and uh, have a look at this memorial and particularly uh, I love the survivor trees so make sure you stop and have a look at that as well. The, uh, only surviving tree from what happened here back in 911 and they have um, protected it and made a nice little memorial uh, with it so check it out where George Washington was inaugurated so it's a very important building very historic I've passed by here several times and not really cared too much but since visiting Williamsburg and learning all about uh, Americans fight for independence and George Washington I'm pretty excited to now check it out uh, links below in the description to read the blog post on Williamsburg and following that story I'm not sure what's worse, walking across the Brooklyn Bridge 
in the middle of winter when it's freezing cold but no one's on the bridge or coming when it's walking and you're trying to walk with hundreds of people and bicycles as well. I don't know, I think I might stick to the winter version but anyway, spending the short while, we're not going to go all the way across because the crowds are too mad but crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, very famous bridge and architecturally beautiful.